wildly wrong. Now, uh, I remember when I was 15, the Daily Telegraph published a, a colour supplement that I still got. It was published in March 1967, and it was the Daily Telegraph's idea of what the world would be like in 1990. Um, now, amongst the things they failed to predict was the, um, was the release of Sgt Pepper three months later. Um, they did, of course, predict uh, the Chinese nuking of Singapore in 1972. Now, I was at university in 1972 and had my mind on other things, but uh, I'm sure I would have spotted that if it had happened. Um, one of the interesting things that their idea of, um, of what the fashions of 1992 would be like, uh, let me see if I can find those, uh, are very, very, very unlike anything in 1990, but are terribly like... Um, 1967. Uh, there we are. It's like 1967 fashions only made of plastic. Uh, they also think we're all going to be living in uh, Doctor Who sets. Well, uh, well, yes, well, some of us are, I suppose. Um, but um, amongst the things they fail to say anything about at all are in the environment or computers. So it'd be very interesting to know, looking back from 25 years to now, we're sitting here busily predicting what the next 25 years is going to be like. There's going to be something fundamental that we're going to miss. Not because all the pieces aren't already here and, uh, and, and aren't just waiting to sprout, but because although we've got all the ingredients, we actually don't know what it is we're cooking.